DC, I hope that they're kicking themselves over this. Hey everyone, welcome back. Hope everyone's doing well. If you are new to the channel, thank you for checking it out. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy this video and my other content. Oh, as some of you, well, as most of you probably know, all of you probably, if you're watching this video, Superman and Lois, the CW series, has officially come to an end. And I think that was obviously a big surprise for a lot of people because the show has been very well received since the first season. But, you know, ever since James Gunn and Peter Safran have become in charge of DC Studios, it has since, you know, got cut short and it was canceled. And one of the executives at the CW was very upfront and blunt about why they canceled it, saying that they don't want anything competing with their new Superman. And I will share my thoughts on that in a moment, but just to kind of give some backstory about why this show was cut short. And it may seem like, you know, this many seasons is sufficient, but the show was so well done. And now that it's officially over, the season finale, or actually the series finale, aired earlier this week. I think that they did such a great job with the show. Now, to be honest, I just, like I started watching the first season when it dropped, but it was very bittersweet for me to watch it because it's so reminiscent of Man of Steel. And I love Man of Steel. <sighs> but at the same time, it was hard for me to want to watch it because I was like, why are they doing this when they didn't support Zack doing it? And they were complaining about the way Man of Steel was and the tone and the, you know, the colors and the all this stuff. Even just like the way Superman is, the way Clark is, he gets emotional. Things are not perfect. There's lots of challenges. You know, he, him and Lois get into arguments. He has all of these things that are going on in his life and it's very realistic and grounded and it's not campy at all. And it was just so many things reminiscent of, you know, Man of Steel. And so it was very bittersweet for me to watch it when it first started. But, you know, now that the season, now that the series is over, I started watching all the old episodes and they really did a great job on the show. And Tyler Hoechlin, like when they first cast him, I'm like, I don't know if I can see him as Superman. He's a great actor, but I just was hard for me to kind of put him into that role. And he did a phenomenal job as Clark, Superman, Kal-El, whatever you want to call him. He did a phenomenal job. Even the production value of the show was on a completely another level compared to the other CW series like The Flash and, you know, Green Arrow, Supergirl. I think that was another thing that kind of like turned me off at the beginning when they announced the Superman and Lois show was because they first introduced Superman, this version of Superman, in Supergirl. And Supergirl was not a great show. I did watch this, you know, a few of the seasons when they were airing. But, and it did get better after the first season a little bit. But overall, it was just... They could have done so much better with that show. And so the when they introduced him in that, the tone and everything was just completely off. Except for when they had like evil Superman. I liked him and like <laughs> he did a great job with that. But I was just like, I don't know, like how is this show gonna be? It's probably gonna be like the same. But no, it was completely different. And my husband and I were talking about it when we were watching these final episodes and we're like, you can't even, you would never even think that Superman and Lois and this version of this universe exist in the same world as the Supergirl CW show because they're completely different. And I think that they nailed the tone, they nailed the writing, the character development, the dynamic between, you know, Clark and Lois and their family and, you know, Lex, Lana, like everything was really well done. And the finale, well, if you haven't seen the last few episodes of the show, I'm not going to spoil anything, but like definitely watch it if you have been enjoying the show all of these seasons. They just did a phenomenal job. It's really a shame that the show got cut short. The show could have went a lot longer. I mean, there was still so much that they could have done with the show. Clearly, they obviously wouldn't have stopped making the show it had it not got canceled by the new leadership at DC. There's, like, there's no reason to justify why they would cancel it. Like the executive said when the um, cancellation was announced, the show was doing great and people love it. Who cancels a show that's doing that well? And you know what? 
a lot of times after like three seasons, it's hard to keep a show at the same level. It's hard to keep people still interested. It's hard to be consistent and stay consistent with, you know, good stories, good characters, good, you know, bringing in new villains, introducing other new characters. Sometimes like side plots start getting way too just unnecessary and annoying and things like that. This show didn't have that, that problem. They didn't have those problems. They were very, very consistent. They didn't start, you know, bringing in the, the corny campiness and all of that stuff. They very much stuck to what they started with. It just got better over time, which is very difficult, I think, for shows to do. And unfortunately, they just don't get to continue that. I mean, it will be interesting to see, like, if they ever bring it back. Would be cool if that happened sometime down the line, some way, shape, or form. And there was a lot of things even that were super just emotional in this season. And they even had to do less episodes than the previous seasons. They only got to do, like, 10, I think, compared to how many they did in the previous season. So they really had to, like, stuff wasn't rushed or anything, but they did have, you know, they had to kind of put everything that they wanted into these episodes. But I think they did a really good job, given the circumstances. I mean, there were plenty of times that I got emotional and teary-eyed during this season, and it just was unexpected. But I love the nods to, you know... Zack Snyder's Justice League, Man of Steel, BVS. There's so many references and parallels, not direct references like they exist in the same universe, but like, you know, visually, or even sometimes the music is very similar. The tone, you know, just the way that they are portraying things in a certain way. It is so, I mean, just a lot of things. Like, clearly people are liking the show. Why end it? And I hope that DC, I hope that they're kicking themselves over this. You know what I mean? And I feel like it's just such an insecure decision to make. I don't care what people say. That's exactly what it is. If a show is doing well, if people are liking it, if it's consistently keeping people over, you know, after like three seasons and the show is still doing really well, you don't cancel a show like that. There's not very many shows that go for, you know, seven, eight, nine, ten seasons. There's some out there, but... I mean, Smallville was 10, right? But it's hard to keep people consistently interested in the show every single season, keeping people coming back and interested for the and waiting for the next season. It's not easy to do, especially with characters that have a thousand iterations. So many different TV shows have been made, different movies, not easy. You don't cancel a show that's still doing that after however many seasons, you know, three, four seasons. And people are still wanting more. It's an insecure decision, and I think it was a very big mistake. So I hope that they are able to bring this show back, however they can do it, in the future. And I hope that they regret this decision because it was completely uncalled for and unnecessary. It just, I've never seen a show be canceled for a reason like that. And I'm really glad that the executive didn't sugarcoat it. He was upfront and honest about it and made it very clear why they canceled the show, which is not surprising given what's going on over there right now at the studio. So if you haven't watched the show, like even just go back and watch the old, the older episodes, the older seasons, it's great. And it sucks that it's ended. But if you did watch the finale, let me know what you thought. And I really enjoyed it. It was just very cool, you know, what they were able to pull off with this show. And I appreciate the production value and everything that they were able to, to do for a CW series, especially. So just wanted to share my thoughts on that. And um, I appreciate the support. Check out anything you might have missed previously on the channel, including the short section. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you guys next time.